Housing Life Meet the Leaders. Today we have Mr. Gautam Ram, Director of Craftsman Automation, which is a 36-year-old company headquartered in Coimbatore with over eight plant locations across India and more than 3,000 employees. Growing at a fast pace, the company serves over a number of industries with its vast range of solutions. Ram has been a, a experienced director and has demonstrated a history of working in industrial automation industry. Thank you, Ram, for accepting our invitation and joining us on the platform today. Thank you, uh, Akshita, for this opportunity. My pleasure. Uh, Ram, your latest innovation is a uh, multi-deep shuttle ASRS. What kind of customers do you think it will be most useful for? The multi-deep shuttle ASRS is a really revolutionary concept in terms of high-density storage. Uh, these type of systems are very attractive for their low cost for pallet location compared to uh, conventional stacker crane based ASRS. However, the drawback of this system is that we don't have single pallet selectivity. That means a single particular pallet to be picked up is difficult because it's stored one behind the other. But the system is very modular. That means the custom does, customer doesn't need to invest in the entire system in one particular go. They can keep adding modules like levels or increase the length of the system as and when their business volume grows. That is very attractive for customers especially customers who have very high volume of pallets per SKU, like in the food and beverage segment or in the FMCG segment, specifically where they have high volumes per SKU, like 10 pallets, 20, 40 pallets. These systems are very attractive from the space utilization as well as the labor utilization standpoint. The very high throughputs of more than 200 pallets per hour is easily achievable, whereas conventional stacker cranes will struggle to achieve 30 to 40 pallets per hour per crane. So for customers who need high selectivity, those type of stacker cranes as well are very useful, which we do offer, which we make in-house as well. Great. Uh, any specific industry that you'd like to target this to? Yeah, absolutely. The food and beverage segment, as well as the FMCG segment, um, are the, the real high volumes of pallets are flowing in and flowing out. Today, many of the pallets are not even palletized. That means the cases are on the ground. So uh, this is a major breakthrough for these sort of industries. So Craftman uh, has been uh, growing at a very fast pace, adding, adding various solutions to its array, uh, material handling, storage, and many more other solution or, uh, offerings, you know, uh, keeping the quality at its heart. Can you please give the reason for such exponential growth? Yeah, Craftsman has always been very aggressive. We've been doubling at every four to five years, CAGR of almost 20 to 25% year on year. And now we have a turnover of more than 1,500 crores. The reason why we're able to grow so quickly is that we're able to maintain the quality at heart by having all in-house manufacturing. We have more than 1,500 crores worth of capex uh, in, incurred in the plant and all ac across, uh, across India. And our factory for in Pune, for example, which was set up for roll forming and rack manufacturing in 2018 and came online in the first quarter of 2019, is completely automated with roll forming, punching, robotic welding of end connectors and powder coating, all highly automated under one roof. So we invest in the best of equipment and we don't compromise on quality. And Craftsman is a byword for quality in India and that's something which we really stand by. And the first V store, for example, uh, we displayed in IWLS in Delhi in June of 2016. And uh, that was the first machine which we made and we displayed. And now I'm happy to say by uh, multiplying the uh, number of exhibitions and up, uh, conducted by India Warehousing Show that we have participated in, we have now been able to uh, cross 150 installations within a short span of time within four years. And now we are at a run rate of almost 10 machines a month. So that's really um, the speed at which we are able to uh, scale our manufacturing. So. Uh... I have another question that the Make in India campaign, where we, where we say now that Make in India, make it for the world, and the Atman Irban campaign, how do you think that will affect or benefit the automation industry? Yeah, so the automation industry has been mostly dominated by imported players. The old idea was that imported is good and local is jugad. Uh, but now that the market is opening up, um, 
there are very high quality players like craftsmen coming on board and we come from the world of machining so anything which regards microns we come from microns where even thousands of millimeters critical so the quality has to be state of the art customers don't have any um, gap with regards to expectation and quality either from a local player as well as an imported player but in this sort of systems asrs systems the support from the manufacturer is absolutely key for maintaining the uptime of the system post installation post handover so this is where the local support the local manufacturing comes into play where we able to react within a couple of hours get the system back up and running whereas if you imp import you're always dependent on the manufacturer uh, either from us or germany or japan or whoever it is then the cost of getting the system up and running the time lost for the manufacturing facility or the warehousing facility is completely unacceptable for any asr if you so so this is only sustainable for a manufacturer in india and i believe that the monumental tectonic shift which is happening that customers prefer make in india products this really will benefit indian manufacturers how does craftsman uh, plan to actually uh, salvage the situation so we have all the manufacturing facilities in place now the products are also proven and it's been uh, installed so now it's uh, just a question of scaling up and putting service teams across the country where we have our own plant locations to ensure the uptime okay so in today's uh, time of growth uh, where e-commerce is skyrocketing and pandemic has further fueled its uh, you know increase uh, and the growth automation and logistics industry are getting benefit from it right so what is the impact uh, you see in the growth when it comes to uh, automation side of it how benefit uh, is it going to be when you compare the pre covid and the post covid era yeah uh, let me break that into two questions one is uh... Uh, post covid a lot of customers who were on the fence about automation have now jumped off the fence and then jumped headlong into the world of automation because the idea the availability of cheap labor it was always taken for granted across india and when the migrant population moved back to the hometowns and that left a lot of industries across india floundering looking for manpower uh, in the urban areas and this reliance on manpower this they want to reduce so it's not only a question about roi or payback anymore it's about business continuity so customers are jumping off the fence and moving headlong into automation they're doing a deep dive and we see a lot of movement in this space specifically the e-commerce sector as you uh, rightly said um it's grown very fast specifically during the lockdown and post lockdown because customers uh shifting to no contact purchasing they don't want to go to the malls or shops anymore so the volume is really skyrocketing but the e-commerce sector as such has been shy of investing in fully automated systems because the cost of labor in india is still just doesn't justify a fully automated system some e-commerce players are experimenting with a hybrid system that is when the picking is done manually and then they have sortation conveyors and uh, uh, lifts to enable them to do the order fulfillment but they not yet gone for a fully automated system because the roi or payback period is just too long but we'll see that happening as and when inflation wage inflation um comes into picture and 7% to 8% year on year wage inflation does give a accelerated payback in terms of investment what changes have you made in the plants and product offerings i mean covid 19 so uh, we have made uh, our products already future ready so most of our products are already available with the best um, systems how are we just trying to add um, some small automation for example we are trying to incorporate uv uh, b lamps in our uh, vlm solution so that it automatically disinfects the uh, surface once the uh, material goes inside the system so these are the new products and the combination of new products like stacker crane plus shuttle which gives the best of both worlds having um, the stacker crane and a shuttle on board the stacker which will then enable multi deep storage system so this this sort of combination will be revolutionary for the industry great would you like to share anything with the industry yeah we are learning every day from the industry and the industry is also uh, learning every day from us it's a big education between both um, partners 
we work closely with the industry. We see that the customers are looking at hybrid systems, which combine the best of human work with automated systems. We humans, we are very, uh, we are very flexible in picking. We can pick small items, big items. We don't need special grippers from our hands to pick up the items. This is where we excel it. But automatically put away of the goods and uh, retrieval of the goods from an ASRS system and then transporting the picked items to the dispatch consolidation. This is the idea which will revolutionize the industry. And this is where the, I think the industry um, in terms of uh, warehousing, 3PL logistics, e-commerce, FMCG, all of these people are moving towards the same ideas. Great. Thank you, Ram, for such great insights and thank you for your valuable time today. Until we meet next with another warehousing expert, thank you all. Bye-bye.